Hi guys, Ozzy Griffin here. This is a video uh, out there to Carmel Triple One Nine. You and I have had a bit of a back and forth on the comments of Milan's recent video about invisible zombies and what you use to fight them. Um, and I'm just gonna sum it up because you, you you did respond to my comments, and for that I thank you. And it goes like this: Look, you asked me how you explain things to people who have less than a passion for conventional education. Fair question. Uh, to sum up a video I did earlier, uh, in a few seconds, Neil deGrasse Tyson was featured, uh, he's a science educator, if you're not familiar with the man, uh, he's not that well known here in Australia, and a lot of my audience is Australian. Um, he's a science educator out in America. Uh, he's carried on a very long tradition of public education about science. And I was almost moved to tears by the beauty and eloquence actually that's not correct i actually had a good gut laugh um, at him explaining things in surprisingly eloquent terms um, when he talked to joe rogan uh, a, a mixed martial artist and uh, celebrity commentator and psychonaut as i found out um, about extremophiles the universe uh, cognition how and why people think the things they do and he didn't, and to answer your question, uh, first of all, Jerry Springer uh, admitted that he hired a lot of actors on his show, so maybe you get a couple of false positives and really smart people who are just really good at acting. However, you can explain anything to anyone. It's just a matter of having the patience. And don't get me wrong, of all the people you could speak to, I understand about having frayed patience. I get that. People are just trying to get a rise out of you. You're not interested. People are trolling you. You're not interested. People are just being distracted or they can't understand from the frame of reference you're using why something is important, be that uh, environmental matters, be that health matters, be that uh, interpersonal relationships. Lord almighty, I could do a couple videos about that by themselves. In fact, I will be redoing a video I did recently because somebody proved me wrong. So... Yeah. I've got to disagree with you most strongly. It's not... If you don't have the patience for something, don't click on a video featuring a guy wearing uh, granny glasses and a fez talking about using a spoon to kill invisible zombies. I don't know, even know why you clicked on it in the first place. I'd love to hear about that. Anyway, just thought I'd give this a uh, little bit of a fleshing out here on uh, on camera because it's a bit better than uh, a simple 400 character comment section. And uh, yeah, hope this has uh, got you thinking, got you looking at different things. Uh, and hey, look, I'll be honest with you. I am very, very picky about what I choose to comment on and who I choose to subscribe to here on YouTube. Uh, most of my, the irony is I'm not an atheist, however, a lot of my friends are. And I like them because you can have an earnest discussion with them. And as long as you can show your workings out and show where the limits of your understanding are, they'll usually be happy to give you a few resources to look into. So yeah, something I'll think about as uh, Bobo Tuesday would say. Um, if I felt I'd uh, be able to say it's a real response now and uh, be able to do the Varmint Coyote thing. Um, so I'm not going to sacrifice a hippopotamus to the seven-headed golden giraffe. Don't have one on me. Uh, so I can't do the Milan Jeftic uh, 1992 send out. Uh, I don't have a picture of a smiley face wearing a Roman Legionnaire's uniform, so I can't do the... Uh, Animal the Victor 13 send out. I guess I'll just do a bunch of shout outs and say, have a good one.